These edulet acrylic signs sell fast and are easy to make. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make these signs on your diode laser and break down the cost of the signs and how much I sold them for. Join me. Welcome back to our workspace, everybody. Although today we're gonna start upstairs in my office with Lightburn. Here in Lightburn, I have brought my sign in and I have a special person in mind for this sign. I'll tell you about later. And then I also have this orange dotted line here, which is just a tool layer. And what I've done with this one is I've set it to 130 by 130 millimeters, which is the size of the visible area on the acrylic LED sign. So that allows me to line up my text, my images, whatever, and also to properly size things. Over here, I am running this at 10,000 millimeters per minute. I am running this on my longer Ray 5 20 watt laser and 70% power. Super important to know if you run this too slow or with too much power, you risk having cracks and pops in your acrylic. So do some testing first. The other thing is I would not go below 0.1 for your line interval because again, that's gonna end up with more heat buildup and can end up causing the acrylic to crack. Some people like to engrave this on the back of the sign and some people like to have it engraved on the front. The way I'm doing my engraving, the engraving itself is on the back of the sign. If you want your engraving to actually be on the front of the sign, when you're done, you will need to horizontally flip your image in light burn. Highlight everything, hit H. That will flip everything for you in light burn. And now if you engrave this way, when you're done, the engraving will be on the front. We're going to need a few supplies to engrave on clear acrylic using our diode lasers. I found all of these next door in my neighbor's house, although it was a bit of a challenge because for some reason they've changed their locks. No idea why. If you want to avoid the restraining order though, I'll leave links in the description to all the supplies I use in today's video. Due to the wavelength of a diode laser, we cannot cut or engrave clear acrylic. However, there is a workaround. For today, we are gonna use some black cardstock and another secret ingredient, which we'll talk about later, in order to get an engraving on the clear acrylic. To make sure we have the best contact between the acrylic sign and the cardstock, we're gonna use some spray adhesive, but not any spray adhesive. You wanna use a light bonding, repositionable spray adhesive so that you can peel this cardstock back off. In my case, I'm using a piece of MDF because I know it's perfectly flat and that way I can put the cardstock on it with the adhesive and it will hold down and stay flat. I'm also using two pieces of cardstock because I noticed in testing that the laser was cutting through the first piece. So to save some engraving on my board, I am using two pieces of cardstock when you are focusing your laser, make sure you focus on the top of the cardstock and not on the acrylic. I'm a big proponent of defocusing your laser to get better engraves. However, I did a lot of acrylic testing and what I found is defocusing the laser when engraving clear acrylic is more likely to make the acrylic pop and crack. If you haven't done clear acrylic engraving before, I recommend doing some testing first. I bought this pack of clear acrylic 12 by 12 sheets on Amazon and I was able to dial in my settings testing with the clear, clear acrylic before I started on to the signs. I don't know why I'm holding up this box. Like it's empty, I've already used all this. We need to remove the film from both sides of the sign. And once that is off, be very careful because this stuff scratches easily and you don't wanna have scratches on your sign before you deliver it. I recommend trying to save the film from the acrylic so that you can put it back on after you're done engraving to give the sign some protection in packaging, shipping, or whatever you're going to do with the sign so it doesn't get accidentally scratched before your customer gets it. Now I'm gonna give the acrylic a clean. I like to use some dish soap and water. I don't use solvents on this. I know a lot of people will say, oh, you can clean it with some alcohol. However, almost every plastic manufacturer's website I have read says, don't use alcohol on acrylic. It can cause clouding, it can cause micro fractures or big fractures, so I'm going to avoid that. I'm sure somebody's gonna leave a comment that says, I've been using alcohol and acrylic for years and it's perfectly fine. And good for you if it is, but for me, I'm gonna take the safe route. So once this is dry, we're gonna use our secret ingredient now. We're going to take a little bit of dish soap, in this case, some Dawn. I don't know that the brand really matters. We're gonna put a couple drops on the back and we're gonna rub it into a thin layer. That's going to protect the acrylic from the soot and the gunk that comes off of the cardstock as this engraves. I found in my testing, when I'm engraving straight on the cardstock, I end up with brown black soot in the engraving that no matter how much I scrub, I cannot get it out. And I remember reading this comment somewhere about using dish soap and I cannot for the life of me remember where I read it. If you're out there, leave a comment and I'll give you credit for it. 
We're going to put the dish soap side down onto the cardstock in the laser. We're going to line it up, whatever method you find works for you for lining up your laser engravings, and we're going to let it engrave. When you are engraving acrylic, it's going to let off some nasty fumes that you don't want to be breathing in. So I highly recommend that you have an enclosure that vents to the outside. Also, once this is done and you take it off the laser, like here, it's not going to smell great. So if you take this inside to rinse off, which is our next step, it's going to smell funny. Once the engraving is done and you have the acrylic off and in a safe spot, go ahead and take the cardstock off the laser bed. That's just going to prevent the adhesive from forming too much of a permanent bond. And I'm using the little spray hose here from the sink. I find that works really well. Get off all the black paper that may be stuck to it and get all the gunk off of it. And then I'm going to give it another wash with some dish soap. And then we're going to let that dry. I'm going to use a Bounty shop towel. Actually, it's not technically a shop towel, but it's Bounty's version of it to pat this dry. Try to avoid rubbing the acrylic with any material as much as possible to avoid possibly scratching it. And once it's done, we can pop it in our LED base and see what it looks like. As I mentioned earlier, we are engraving everything today on my longer Ray 5 20 watt laser. It still blows my mind that I am engraving at 10,000 millimeters a minute. If you want to learn more about the laser, I'll leave a link in the description to my past video and also to their website. Let's talk about cost. The LED acrylic sign kit was a little over $30 on Amazon for four LED lamps. So about $8 for each lamp. The cardstock was a little under $10 for 50 sheets, so it's about 20 cents per sheet. Two sheets per engraving, that's 40 cents. The spray adhesive, it's $13 for the can, but there's so much in there, I, I have no way to calculate it. So we'll round that to $8.50 for the cost of each sign. I sold these by word of mouth. Just mentioned to a couple people that I had these and I was doing acrylic signs, and they all sold already. And I sold them for $25 each. If you're looking for other ideas that you can use on your diode laser engraver that will probably sell well, check out my video up here on doing real wooden inlays. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really like this jellyfish sign. I think I'm going to give it to my former boss.